here so uh lens dispersion uh i one two three uh and then we'll put something really small like point two no 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 point zero five sorry and then uh i and then right here it'll it should be all the way gone i and I, that should be a really quick one just so it looks like 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 we zoomed in a little bit You do not want to overdo this because it will make people dizzy super quickly. So uh, if this doesn't look good and you render the entire time, is a it's the fact of life. It happens. You just have to render it again until you get the perfect uh, combo, which is fine. But just be aware that it might not be perfect the first time you do it. So if we go ahead and take a look, just make sure it's not too much. You can look at the, the one screen. Actually, you can go ahead and render it every single time if you want to. Uh, auto render is a feature here. So if I go ahead and take a look you can turn auto render on you can see uh, exactly what is happening over here is happening over there kind of uh, now now if we were to go ahead and render this new image because we have to render it every single time or else it's not gonna look right uh, if we render this new image of the one where it's zoomed out a lot so you can tell the difference or maybe we'll do the one where it's upside down yeah we'll do that one so we'll render this real quick and when we render it you can see it looks regular and then it'll kind of do the dispersion thing but you can't really tell because I mean you can see the particles over here so let's go ahead and play it all the way through with the particles on so we can see exactly what's gonna look like it's gonna lag a bunch but that's fine and then right here uh, we're gonna render that when it's zoomed out a lot see what it looks like and give it a little look see see if it's too much or not and there we go and dispersion there we go so you can see what it looks like right there uh, if you think it's too much then take it some away if you think it's just enough uh, then leave it alright and then we can uh, also t test this little one right here we'll render this one and it will look something like that when it's done so that looks pretty good and then this one over here which is the last one we can go ahead and take a look at on the max uh, of 0 0.05 and we render that last one just to make sure that it's not too much for us uh, and it looks good to me. I like the way it looks. It looks cool. We could add some depth of field to this, um, which won't do too much, but it will take away a little bit of that spottiness from the stars back there. So let's go ahead and grab the camera. Got a uh, material viewport that looks so good. I love the way it looks. Uh, I just love it. It's one of the best ones we've done on the channel, if not the best one. I love it. It looks so great. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn depth of field on here. Now you can see we need to turn up a focus distance, but we're going to go to camera, actually viewport display, sorry, and turn limits on and then go out of our camera so we can see what's going on, turn overlays back on and stuff so we can see where the limits are. We're going to turn the limit uh, focus distance up until we get to the text so now it's we're, we're telling it pretty much that's where you're going to be focused on uh when you're focusing on something so we'll go back to the render viewport uh shading there and we can turn the f-stop to maybe 0.5 and now you see we got that depth of field which looks nice with the particles in the background there uh and if we zoom out like when we do a couple of times in the in the um in the uh, uh, in the scene, it won't actually affect the depth of field because we only changed the focal length. We didn't actually change the distance as to where the camera is, so it'll be totally fine when we are trying to do something. Now, a couple of these pieces that are closer to the camera are going to look super big and weird, like this guy right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I don't really want any particles in front of the camera anyway. So I said this earlier. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this plane, this giant, ginormous plane. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, and we are going to uh, move it backwards. We're going to hit S, Y. I, actually, I think we can scale it, right? We might be able to. I don't think we had scaling keyframes on there. No, we didn't. Good. We hit S, Y to scale on the Y axis, and we're going to move it. So it's going to move kind of backwards and up now because I don't want to have it be right there. So we're going to move it just so G, Y. We're gonna move it just behind the text. So five three on my numpad's going the front facing view, and then we hit uh, where is that at? Right there. So we hit G Y and move it back behind the uh, behind the text so that it's not actually looking weird or anything like that. And we can also do the same thing for this right here. So uh, five seven to go into the front uh, top facing view, 
uh, and we'll just move it back behind that red line and make sure that we hit I location and the same thing for this G Y and then I location there we go so now it's not in the way of the camera and it's not gonna be in front of the text as well which is which was a big pet peeve of mine as well so now um, we have that rendered it will look something like this which looks nice because we have some depth of field going on and we also have them not in the way of the camera so they're not super big and super weird looking um, and also where's my camera grab it right there and we can mess around with the f-stop some more really if you want to but I don't think going over that is too good of idea I think the lowest we can probably get away with is 0.5 or 0.6 0.4 Point four. It's, I'm losing some of the particles like that, though. Yeah, I, I think I'm losing too many of the particles to want to do that, but I think it lo looks good still. So I think we might leave it on point four, um, and then we'll just, just give this a quick render with the zoom out. Where is that at? Right here. Yeah, with that zoom out, we have all those particles in frame. None of them are blurred because we're so far back. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit render on this one last time, and then I think we're going to be done finally with this uh, render and I'll go ahead and, uh, and and close out the video now we have that and then with the dispersion looks like that on the edges looks super good I love it so very very much I think this is one of the coolest things if not the coolest thing we've done maybe aside from that cool sci-fi material that we made a little bit ago uh, a while back but that is going to be it for today's video hope you guys and girls enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one I'm gonna play this uh, right now at the end of the video uh, kind of as like uh, a little a little thing that, to show you what it's what it's looking like because um, I, I like it I'm just gonna rent I'm gonna render I don't usually render the projects we do because you can usually see what's gonna look like at the end of the video but this is gonna take a long time to render um, but I'm gonna do it because it I, I really love it it's, it's looking great it's gonna be oh 240 frames to 839 oh man that's a lot that's a lot of frames uh, but yeah so I'll be back uh, in, in the next tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I'm gonna play it right now for you and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye